a very good morning my name is alok and i welcome you in saying thanks once again for coming back and watching these videos these small videos actually so what i'm going to uh, share with you in this video i'm going to share with you how to preserve the history across the terminals let me write here how to preserve history across the terminals this is the topic for this particular video uh, as you must be knowing that okay i'll just do one thing because whenever you execute some command and the default behavior of the, of the bash shell is that it preserve the history of that particular terminal let me give you an, a very simple example what the problem is suppose i am troubleshooting this server the machine is rel 58 It, it's a 5.8 machine and I have got some issues on the server and my job is to troubleshoot that particular issue it can be any issue so what uh, like being admin what I generally do I try to execute multiple commands or I try to like look at the various angles of the problem like suppose I, I open one terminal okay uh, just to make my uh, video clear and the topic clear what I'm doing I'm intentionally clear uh, clearing the history I do a clear history means it it's a fresh machine and no uh, commands had been executed right now so uh, here i'm doing some troubleshooting and say i'm executing a fds hyphen l command then i had given df hyphen h and doing certain things on the server parallel what i had done i had opened one more terminal here because i'm trying to look at various perspective of the problem and to save my time i had opened another terminal on the same machine here again just for the sake of the video i'm doing a uh, history clear and here i'm giving i'm giving some different commands say u name hyphen r u name hyphen a and sort of commands now you must be knowing that the default behavior is that if i give a history on this terminal i'll be getting the commands those i had executed on this specific terminal i won't be getting any commands those i had executed on the other terminal so the problem is that every terminal or every bash instance will store the history and it will be very difficult for me then to check out what commands had been executed and what i had done on other terminals so the idea of this particular video is that why not club a join all the histories together so that it will be easier for me to just give the history command and check what i had done across the terminals rather than going on each and every terminal and then executing the history command right so let's see how to do this it's a very simple thing but can be very helpful being a server admin uh, and uh, if you are trying to diagnose a problem just open up your bash rc file and it is the like the default file i hadn't made any changes here so i'm writing some couple of lines here uh, just for the sake of the video i'm making a comment and making all the things clear say so what i want to do i wanted to say preserve history across terminals so the first thing i am going to do here is that i am going to write down a very simple command hyphen s hist append look what it had done the default behavior is that if if you have got multiple terminals okay i'll just write it down down here what are why i am giving this command right here that if in case you have multiple terminals opened which is there in my case in my case the commands may be lost the commands may be lost as i had shown you that the command that you had executed on one terminal will not be available under the history of the other term terminal so you might lost the chain you might lost the sequence what you are doing 
the commands may be lost as why because the default behavior is because the default behavior of your bash shell is is to override the commands override the history across the terminals so what i am trying to do is that i i want to change this default behavior by this simple line by this simple argument hist append means i am telling do not overwrite just append it so here i am instructing bash not to overwrite but to append this is the thing append what append history across terminals sorry so this is the uh, reason why i have changed the default behavior because i want the history to be appended rather than to be overwritten then i give one more command prompt command you all know the prompt but i am executing a command in the command prompt so i give here history hyphen n then execute one, one more command history append that's it so by giving this command what i am doing here i am telling the bash it's actually what it's a it's a kind of a real time append of your histories across the terminal it's kind it's a kind of real time history append across the terminals actually what i'm doing i'm executing a command history hyphen n and then history hyphen a whenever you press enter so what it actually does the setting the prompt command the prompt command what i had given is setting executes the given command in my case the given commands are history hyphen n and then history append given command every time you press enter every time you press enter that simply means that shell writes to the history and then read the history file sorry every time you press enter so that makes sense it is actually a extension of what i had done here then because i am troubleshooting a very big problem the default size or it is recommended that the default size okay one more thing before jumping onto the next uh, like uh, uh, argument or the parameter is that that simply means because i am appending the history across the terminal i better write it here it's a warning that means that when you use arrow keys to navigate sorry across history or you use some shortcut like you know it bang bang means uh, execute the last command you will be getting the last command executed across the terminals you will get the last command executed across all terminals rather than the current terminal rather than on the current terminal 
so you have to be careful so you have to be careful so don't say i i, I had like hadn't mentioned it to you and then because i am troubleshooting a a particular topic or a, or some problem i might want to increase the size of the history as you must be knowing that the default size under rel machine is 1000 commands you can sh uh, view it i for this particular video i have one more rel machine open up already for for you it's a rel 6 machine and if i give the command echo dollar hist size it give me 1000 and i give echo dollar hist file size it's 1000 means it is going to store only 1000 commands you might Um, might be the problem is big and the 1000 commands are less so what i can do here i can increase the hist size hist size say 10000 hist file size say 10000 so i just increase the amount of history you want to store good and one more thing because i'm troubleshooting a problem across the multiple terminals you might want to track of the command execution time when that particular command or the order when that particular command has executed so it is always a good practice to store the time stamp along with the history so you got a very simple parameter hist time format and then specify here percentage f percentage t space and that's it. that's it i can write here record the time stamp along with the history so so this is what you need to do just four lines the the first line append the history rather than overwriting append the history real time across all the terminals increase the size and store the time stamp that's it the end the end for this video haha -ha, happy i save and come out because i done the changes in dot bash rc i need to log out i do a log out here now earlier if you remember the commands were being being stored only for the specific terminals now i open the terminal for the sake of the video and to make things clear i do a, a clear history here and i give some commands here say fdes hyphen l I give df hyphen h. I give du hyphen hs root on one terminal, and then because I'm troubleshooting a big problem, I simultaneously had opened one more terminal here. Here I'm giving the command uname hyphen a, uname hyphen r, and uh, any more command say id, sort of. So now the benefit is that here comes the. Uh, means the hack that on any of the terminals whenever you press history you will be getting the command those were executed across the terminals along with the time stamp when they had executed look at this if you remember on this terminal i had executed the command this id uname hyphen r uname hyphen a these are coming and and i had executed all these commands on the other term terminal on this terminal so you will get the history across all the term all the terminals for all the commands that you had given so that makes your life or troubleshooting much more easier and it's a very beautiful way to record what you had done or what is happening across all the terminals on your linux server so i hope you like this video small video and thank you for watching these videos and god bless take care that's all see you again soon bye chaps I'm stopping the video now.